this video regarding Modigliani and Miller approach means M and M approach for the dividend decision before derive formula and do practical questions first we take understanding of assumption under M and M approach so first assumption the firm operates in perfect capital market in which all investors are rational and information is freely available to all means firm operates in perfect capital market second investors are rational means investor doing investment in intelligent way after do analysis and all the information regarding company is freely available to all second there is no taxes means no taxes or alternatively there is no difference in tax rate applicable to capital gain and dividend means if tax rate is present then tax on capital gain and tax on dividend must be same third firm has a fixed investment policy fourth there are no flotation or transaction cost means company not required to pay any underwriter commission a merchant bank commission or buying or selling security not required to pay or not incur any cost if risk of uncertainty does not exit means no uncertainty investor are able to forecast future prices and dividend with certainty means investor are able to forecast future price means after one year what will be the price of security and what amount of dividend will be paid is known to investor and it is certain means no 1% or 0.01% difference between his forecast and actual last one one discount rate is appropriate for all security and all time periods thus r is equal to k is equal to kt for all all t means discount rate if for example if discount rate is 10 percent means a uh, required rate of return is 10 percent then the same is applicable to all securities and all times now we derive the formula for m and m approach for example as per assumptions investor can forecast a certain future price of shares for example required rate of return means ke is 10 percent security is price after one year is equal to 110 it is certain as per assumptions means after one year you can buy or sell security a at a rate of 110 so what is the current price you if you are required it turn 10 percent means If you invest today for example 
वन रुपीज इट बिकम वन पॉइंट टेन एज पर रेट ऑफ रिटर्न इज रिक्वायर्ड वन पॉइंट टेन सो कैन वी सेट दैट पी जीरो मीन्स करंट प्राइस ऑफ सेल इज इक्वल टू पी वन मीन्स नेक्स्ट इयर प्राइस डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस के ई मीन्स वन हंड्रेड एंड टेन डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस पॉइंट टेन इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड मीन्स करंट प्राइस शुड बी हंड्रेड this is the formula but for example if current price is given and for example p0 is equal to 100 ke is equal to 15% then what is the next year price Here, investors are rationals, so all the investors are invested hundred and sell at one hundred and fifteen rupees. After an return of fifteen percent means P one is equal to P zero into one plus. के इज इक्वल टू टू डेज प्राइस हंड्रेड इंटू वन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड इंटू वन पॉइंट फिफ्टीन मीन्स आफ्टर वन ईयर प्राइस शुड बी वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन For example, if dividend paid by the company is five rupees, dividend P zero is equal to hundred, K is equal to fifteen percent. So what is the price of P one? Okay. If you invest today hundred, you want to receive after one year one hundred and fifteen rupees. If here in this case, if Without selling of share, I receive dividend of five rupees. Then P one is equal to hundred rupees. So in formula, we can calculate like that: P zero, P sorry, P one is equal to P zero into one plus K minus dividend. In this case, P zero is hundred. One plus K fifteen percent minus dividend five. Means one hundred and fifty minus five. Means One hundred and ten means after one year, price of the security should be one hundred and ten. If P one is equal to one hundred and ten dividend is equal to five rupees. 
k is equal to 50 percent so what the what is the price of securely today we require return of 15 percent so if invest today we if we invest today 100 rupees we require total case in after one year is 115 so can we say that p0 is equal to price of share after one year divided by one plus k if company pays the dividend then can i say that plus dividend okay, its present value means divided by one plus k here in this case p1 plus d divided by one plus k e can I, I merge the formula so can I say that P0 is equal to P1 plus D divided by 1 plus K this is the formula of MN approach now we solve the this question here yeah. p1 is equal to 110 dividend 5 rupees divided by 1 plus square rate of return is 15 percent so 115 divided by 1.50 in is equal to p0 is equal to 100